Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. 26 degrees at 8.18 a.m. and I am your host, Fakamal. And I'm a sinner. Oh, and I still don't feel good. Look at all the ducks coming in. Look at all the ducks coming in. Oh, I did not sleep well and I did not have pleasant dreams and there they go. There they go. Oh boy. To the eight billion of you who were not tuned in yesterday, I woke with this feeling in my mouth like you get when you burn the roof of it on a too hot slice of pizza. And I have it again today, as well as some signage drainage. Oh boy, and I'm very lethargic, and I just gave myself a COVID test, and we're waiting for the results of that. We got some coffee brewing, and Max and Sam and Sullivan just went outside. Max and Sully were outside once before. And now they're back out again. Mikey's in the basement. Elsie's in the living room underneath the uh, coffee table. Oh, boy. And I'm going to go out and throw some more food for the wildlife. And maybe puke, too. Who knows? Welcome back. And I usually at this point say I don't really mean that. But I'm not going to say that. Um, because... I've given it up for Lent, as well as telling people to piss off before we close the show. So, anyway, we got two mallards back. I just threw more food out there. Uh, looks like five city chickens on the wire over there. Mackie came back in. Mac? Bobby? My Bobby Max. There's his rear end, anyway. That's not the good side. That'd be my good side. But anyway, we're drinking some pea berry coffee this morning from Brazil. Not quite as good as the Tanzanian variety, but it's pretty darn good. A recap from yesterday. What did we do? We shoveled snow. There's Mackie. There's his good side. Hi, Mackie. Come on and see me, honey. Come on, Mac. Come on, Max. I love you, Bobby. You're a sweet, good boy, and I love you. Oh, look it. Here comes Bobby Sullivan. Here comes Bobby Sullivan. There's that Bobby. Oh, fuck. Is that window frozen shut? And there's Tammy right behind him. Bobby Samuels. Bobby Sullivan. Bobby Sullivan, Bobby Sullivan, Bobby Sullivan. Come on in, honeys. Come on, there's Bobby Sullivan. Look at Bobby Samuels. Bobby, look at how beautiful he is. You are a handsome soul, buddy. You know that? Come on in, honey. Come on in, Poppy. There he goes, those little legs just a pumping. The ducks got scared away. Oh boy. So anyway, we shoveled. I don't recall doing any conjuring in the morning. That doesn't mean that we didn't, but Oh, we shoveled. And then drove over to Tractor Supply to get some cat litter. That was pretty depressing. Our usual brand wasn't there, and we had to pay t double for less than what we usually get. I think I paid $19 for a 35-pound uh, container of cat litter. The greed heads are just exploiting us like you wouldn't believe, and I hope every greed head from every corporation rots in hell for eternity smoking non-filtered goat turds. Uh, from there we went to Marine Market and scored some eggs, some farm fresh 
eggs raised by Don, Don and John Martin. And we got a pound of ground chuck. And seems like there was a third item, but I'm hard pressed to remember what that was. From there, we went to the library to pick up a movie we had ordered, Spinal Tap. This is Spinal Tap. We got there, and someone was standing outside the door. He said, nobody's in there. And it was like 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning. They open at, I believe, 8.30, maybe 9. Every light in the place was on. The walks had all been snow blowed, and nobody was in there. And I didn't have my phone, but the guy that was standing there waiting tried calling. Nobody answered, and... So, we didn't watch Spinal Tap yesterday. But we got the drummer living next door, Mick Shrimpton. One of Alpina's loudest bands. We did get the pleasure of having the dog bark every time it was let out. And there were a couple times where I wanted to open a window and just scream, Shut that fucking dog up, get a muzzle. But it ain't gonna do no good. Oh, we binged watch some more of Endeavor. We're on the last episode of season eight. Uh, before we went to bed, we checked what passes for news and had some good news for a change. It seems uh, Mayor Beetlejuice in Chicago did not receive enough votes to be in the uh, Democratic runoff for the election of the mayor. I think, I don't know if I said that right, but yeah, she, she, she won't be running as a Democrat anyway. Or should I say it? And if a Democrat ends up back in there, I really don't know that much is going to change. They have their same policies, but let's just kick back and mention a few of her highlights. The, uh, Jesse Smollett fake hate crime happened and got brushed under the rug during her watch. I recall one time uh, after a, a weekend where there were 150 shootings, the main topic of the city council meeting that Monday was going to be whether or not they should rename Lakeshore Drive. Uh, several, well, I know a few anyway, Major corporations closed their corporate offices and left the city because of the crime and the violence. And uh, so, you know, I could go on and on and on. Then there was the classic one from a couple weeks ago where she said if people didn't carry cash, they wouldn't get robbed. Not let's get the criminals and lock them up. Throw away the key. Let's just don't carry cash and then you won't get robbed. So... I'm hoping and praying that this is a sign of things changing in this country and that somebody will get in there and if need be the guard will go in and take care of the violence. And anyway, we're going to take a break. We are back. There's some activity out here. I think it's Bobby Sullivan playing with his toys. Come on, Bobby. So anyway. I had a dream last night, right before I got out of bed this morning, right before I woke up, that I was living in, a, in an apartment in Traverse City. <laughs> and then one of my cats puked on the floor and I was cleaning it up and then we had a visitor, it was President Trump. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know what brought that on. But I want to go back to some more miseries I got this morning. Uh, Along with some pain in the lower back, um, my right shoulder is still pretty messed up again, and the lumps in the bottom of my feet are hurting again, that plantar fibro, whatever it is. So in my, I'm in my full glory physically, but what are you going to do? I think today I'm going to conjure up some French onion soup. Pack up our recyclable cans and plastic and pedal over to one of the bins behind the Aplex and then pedal down to the library and get our movie and hang with these loves and who knows, who knows, maybe bake some bread. What do you think, Sully? I don't know if I mentioned it, but my COVID test is negative. Welcome back once more. We're plugging away at our readings. Bobby Sullivan is sitting with me, B-A-B-Y, Bobby. 
Ah, oh. along with all my other maladies, the lungs are hurting. The COPD's kicked in, as well as uh, oh boy, some chest pains. So you know, I think it must be pretty humid out there, because usually that's when everything happens at once. Every day, I generally have some malady. The back comes from a couple crushed vertebrae, one up top, one in the middle, and then down low I've got some scoliosis and arthritis. I think it's between L3 and L4 or L4 and L5, I can't remember, but yeah, on any given day I'll have something aching me somewhere, but today they're all going, the feet, the shoulder, the heart, the lungs, the back, plus this whatever this malady is I have, it's just wonderful. Oh, yeah. Going back to yesterday, it got sunny in the afternoon, and it was just gorgeous out. And my loves enjoyed the afternoon out here on the sun porch, and for that, I was grateful. Oh, fuck. Well, we finished our readings, our prayers, our coffee. Still sitting here with Bobby Sullivan. B-A-B-Y, Bobby. We got a plan for today, and a good plan for today is better than a perfect plan tomorrow. We got city chickens feeding and there they go. We got ducks circling. Grandfather son trying to poke through the clouds. It's almost over the roof day. So, as much as I want to tell you all to piss off, I'm not going to. From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, Thanks for not tuning in. It's Sushi Wednesday at Meyer, and have a wonderful day.